Chapter 17 Now Elijah the Tishbite of Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord the God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, there shall be neither dew nor rain these years, except by my word. And the word of the Lord came to him, Depart from here and turn eastward, and hide yourself by the brook Kareth, which is east of the Jordan. You shall drink from the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord. He went and lived by the brook Kareth that is east of the Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. And after a while the brook dried up because there was no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, Arise, go to Zarephath which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow there to feed you. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, a widow was there gathering sticks. And he called to her and said, Bring me a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to bring it, he called to her and said, Bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. And she said, As the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked, only a handful of flour in a jar, and a little oil in a jug. And now I am gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare it for myself and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said to her, Do not fear, go and do as you have said, but first make me a little cake of it, and bring it to me, and afterward make something for yourself and your son. For thus says the Lord the God of Israel, The jar of flour shall not be spent, and the jug of oil shall not be empty, until the day that the Lord sends rain upon the earth. And she went and did as Elijah said, and she and he and her household ate for many days. The jar of flour was not spent, neither did the jug of oil become empty, according to the word of the Lord that he spoke by Elijah. After this the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, became ill, and his illness was so severe that there was no breath left in him. And she said to Elijah, What have you against me, O man of God? You have come to me to bring my sin to remembrance, and to cause the death of my son. And he said to her, Give me your son. And he took him from her arms and carried him up into the upper chamber where he lodged, and laid him on his own bed. And he cried to the Lord, O Lord, my God, have you brought calamity even upon the widow with whom I sojourn, by killing her son? Then he stretched himself upon the child three times, and cried to the Lord, O Lord, my God, let this child's life come into him again. And the Lord listened to the voice of Elijah, and the life of the child came into him again, and he revived. And Elijah took the child, and brought him down from the upper chamber into the house, and delivered him to his mother. And Elijah said, See, your son lives. And the woman said to Elijah, Now I know that you are a man of God, and that the word of the Lord in your mouth is truth. Chapter 20 Now on the first day of the week Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple, and they were going toward the tomb. Both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there, and the face cloth, which had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed for as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. Hello and welcome to Bible Time. Uh, today, First King chapter 17, we're going to hear about the, one of the greatest prophets named Elisha. Elisha the prophet told King Ahab that the Lord will bring about a drought for a few years until he speaks. Elisha was taken care of by the food brought by raven, and water from a brook. When the water dried up, he finds a widow asking for water and bread. She told him that she only had enough flour and oil for her and her son for a day, but she obeys anyways and brought the water and the cake. Now her son was sick and about to die. Elisha takes him up a room and pray that God would heal him. The boy was healed and they came down from the to the widow, and widow praised God and believed that Elijah was surely a man of God who speaks the truth. And now John chapter 20, verse 1 through 10. Here we find some evidence of Jesus' resurrection. First, Mary Magdalene 
went to see Jesus early in the morning and she was so upset to see that tombstone has been rolled away. So she ran to the disciple and told them that someone has taken the body of Jesus. Peter and John ran to the tomb to see what happened. Peter walked in first and saw that the linen that was wrapped on his head was nicely folded so as his clothes. They didn't believe that he was resurrected, but the evidence showed that the body was not stolen. Obviously, if someone had stealed the body, they wouldn't fold the linen or the clothes, just as thief would go come in to steal things and then clean the house. So we find few evidence of resurrection of Jesus. But first, we see that the stone has been rolled away. Secondly, the body was missing. And thirdly, that it was not stolen because it was nicely folded, the linen and his clothes. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. And we know that in these short passages, we see some evidence that you were resurrected. The stone has been rolled away. The body is missing. And everything was folded nicely, the linen and clothes. And so, Father, we see that you are resurrected. Help us to believe through this evidence that you are resurrected. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.